Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and this is it people. Tis the end of the semi-annual 2015 summer sale for Yankee Candle and I wanted to talk about the hauling that I did. I should have stayed away. I didn't know how to stay away. Unfortunately, I didn't stay away. So I got some stuff, what can I say? And let's face it, they really did, I'm gonna get myself in focus, they really did right by us. They gave us a good deal as far as sales were concerned with Yankee Candle. Yeah, they started the ball rolling with the large jars at $13.99 and then they started fluctuating, but the best part wasn't that. Well, the fluctuation was, depending on how you purchase your candles, but the best part was at the very end, at the very end of this whole thing, they did whatever sales, whatever clearance price it was, plus 10% off on top of that. So 75%, if the item was 75% off, they would put another 10% off on it. Might as well just give it to us. I wish they would have given it to us. Okay, they practically gave it to us. But what did I get? What did I come out with? I came out with good deals, I think. Here's what's going on. And this bag that I'm holding actually has a lot of tarts in it. But rather than show you all of them, I'm going to show you one and tell you how many I got. That way I can make this quicker because there's stuff that I have to tell you. And it's nice and it's exciting. Let me stop talking. Anyway, the large jars, they were, when I got this deal, it was buy four and get them for $50 off. $50, $50. Before you get four and it was $50 and it was 10% off of that. So I got some backups. What did I get? I got a greenhouse, one of four. I got a greenhouse and I did burn this candle already. I have this my backup. It smells great. Green and leaves and herbs and just a tweak, just a tiny bit of hardly noticeable floral notes, which is awesome because I don't like floral notes that much. You know, I can take them, but this this much, it has to be very, very low on the floral note scale. Uh, backup. Yankee Candles Juicy Watermelon. Oh my goodness gracious, when you open this up, all you smell, oh wow, all you smell is a ripe, juicy, dark watermelon. That's all. I started with this as a votive. I started with a votive that I wanted to test a fragrance out, and that's the best way to actually test a fragrance for me is either a votive or a tart. You start small and then you work your way up for me. So I started with the, the little one, bought the big one, a, a regular large jar, and got two backups. That's how good it smells. So that's it. And then last but not least for the fourth jar, I got a backup of honeydew melon because it does smell good. Oh my gosh pure honeydew melon. It's very nice. It's not as strong burning as Juicy Watermelon. Juicy Watermelon is a little bit stronger, but this one is still nice and they're both fresh. All 22 ounce, one single wick jars, all wax paraffin. And this is nice. And this one is retiring and I don't know if they're going to ever bring it back. So that's why I got one because I do like it. And I don't know if during the Christmas season, if they do the SAS sale, are they going to bring it back? I don't know. I bought another one just to be it's better to be safe than sorry you know, you know so that's what I got backups I did get an ocean side this is my second little box of the tea lights and this was $4.99 I paid $4.49 for it instead of $9.99 very good and this is a nice scent and I love their tea lights they're very strong even though they're so small they're small tiny but they're very they smell really great so I had gotten this one now the tarts that I wanted to talk about yeah I got a bunch of tarts the tarts they gave us a good price on the jars but their 75% off was awesome so how did we make out the tarts and votives were 50 cents plus 10% uh, off which knocked the price down to 45 cents which was and their website was cleaned out immediately because you know everybody was gonna buy either a tart or votive the select ones and they had a large selection. So what did I get? Something special. I got here, Joy to the World. There it is, Joy to the World. I did get this Christmas one. And I only bought two. Only because I have a lot of tarts that are Christmas related. So I didn't want to get a lot. When they sent this to me, they put it in those little plastic egg crate things. And when you open this, they taped it up. My gosh, is it strong. This is 
a strong pine tar kind of scent. Only bought two. I'm glad I only bought two. It's really, really strong. And another Christmas one that I got was um, this one, Home for Christmas. I think it would be Home for the Holidays, but it's Home for Christmas. They're both green. And this is piney, but it's lighter than that one. So in case you still see it there, just think pine, 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 pine Christmas. Okay. So I bought two of those greenhouse because I like the candle so much. I bought five of these greenhouse tarts. So this is good. Um, vanilla chai. I bought only one of them because I don't get into their coffee scents that much. And I know that this smells a little bit like coffee. So I bought one vanilla chai, uh, honeydew melon. Yeah, I got the candle. Honeydew melon, I got one of these. Only because there was only one left in the store, I might have gotten more. Um, grapevine and oak, I got five of these. I like this scent, but grapevine and oak is a strange scent. I like it, but only in small doses. I never bought the candle before. I can take this and I burn it for a little while and then I'm done with it. And you know, and then I'll take it out. And the same thing with the votive, you know, just things for a little while, not, not tons of time, but we see. Here's a surprise, uh, ghostly treats, which is really campfire treats, which they always put out for Halloween time. I bought one of these for 50 cents. I burnt it right away because I know they had these in a basket, a wicker basket on the floor in their store. And I wanted to try it that same evening. And it's wonderful. The scent is absolutely great. And I liked it so much that I called the next day and asked them to grab more for me. So in total, I got 10 of these. And they smell nice. It's a nice marshmallow scent, but it's like a little smoky. So I like it. And finally, this was on their website, Granny Smith, which is fantastic. Granny Smith and straight up green. Ooh, green Granny Smith scent, that tart kind of apple and I love apple fragrances so Granny Smith I had to get 10 of these so it's good now to continue with the super duper sale what did they do they put the large jars their regular large jars on sale but they put the jelly bean the bunny cake the um, marshmallow peeps and the Girl Scout collection all the large jars instead of $27.99 they were seven bucks so the people were grabbing these like crazy this is a fantastic deal. This burns, the large jars burn for 110 to 150 hours. Seven dollars, please. And the truth is, when these cookie can, you know, candles came out at first, Girl Scout, I wasn't gonna buy them. I don't get into cookie scents. The only one I sort of liked was actually this one, which is the coconut caramel stripes, which to me is Samoa's. But it was the only one and then I always found it strange that why is it soft wax and not the hard wax paraffin not that it matters because it burns just as nicely but there it is so seven dollars I bought two of them I bought two of them and I liked it so much that I actually bought a small jar and it was I think on sale from four dollars and change to 396 because it was 10 percent off I'm burning one in the kitchen now <sighs> it smells good so that's it. And another Girl Scout collection cookie. I got trefoils. So this smells like shortbread cookies. This one is, is very buttery. It's a simple cookie scent. I haven't burned it yet. I, it was available in the large jar. I wanted to try it. And I know the large jar, economically speaking, it would have been better. But I, I just wanted the small one. What can I say? There was Thin Mints there and there were the peanut butter ones were there. I didn't, I thought that they were okay, but I didn't get them. So that's what's going down. Now, accessories. Look at this. Look at this, people. And I'm trying to keep an eye on the time. I think I might be able to make it this time because I talk too much. Lantern, this beautiful lantern, there it is, is an online exclusive or it was available only through online. I would see all the lanterns that Yankee was selling and every time I saw them I kept thinking first I don't know how big they are secondly how the heck do you put that tea light in there because I was very intrigued I mean I want to know I'm one of these people that ask questions all the time I'm like one of those kids you know like how come why how come I'm a pain in the neck okay Yankee candle as you can see it's a beautiful it's called the mason jar lantern black handle and it has in raised lettering it says Yankee candle and it says established 1969 I don't know if you can see it 
I hope you can see it. And inside, how do they put the light in there? They put the light in there because there's a swivel bottom, which I will show you. And I have like a flameless light in there. And here, I'll show you the swivel bottom. There's like a little place that you pinch together and you swivel it out. And here, I will show you. You must know, no, there's a swivel bottom. You put the two little ears match up, stick them in, turn it around. Make sure you don't drop it for demonstration purposes like I just did. And it does actually sit in there. And of course, since I'm doing this this way, you're not gonna say, no, it sits like this. So is it pretty? Yes, it's beautiful. Normally it was $15. Uh, they had it on sale for four dollars, no, seven dollars and change, and I think I got it for six ninety something, which is a good price. And I'm gonna put it back in so you could see it after I fight a little bit with it. And notice when you're trying to do something anyway, let me try to do this. Oh my god, it works! Okay, there it is. So it's absolutely beautiful. Since they don't do dimension sizes or they don't do sizes, I am going to show you what size it should be. So there is a Yankee candle and there is this little lantern and at least you can tell that it is bigger than the candle. So it's a nice size and for the price it was awesome. All right, the last piece, oh no, I got this jar holder for $15 or $16, wait. $16 to $4.25. It does fit a large jar, but it sort of sticks out a little bit. Medium jar fits it, and a uh, Bath and Body Works candle does fit it. Wicker. My thought is, am I going to use it? I am not sure, but you know what I thought? I think that if you want, you could put markers in it if you love to draw for a kid or something, or you could also put it on a picnic table and put plastic utensils in it, you know, like the forks, the knives, and the spoons, so it can look pretty, because it will look pretty. Or you could just use it for a jar, so that's it. And votive cup thing, I bought this sconce, a sconce, and it's very pretty. It has a leaf pattern on it, really pretty. Look at that, nice. And it came with this little votive cup, which you could put a tea light in. And I wanted to try something. And um, not only can you put a tea light in, which I will show you. Notice it was so hard to take the tea light out. Well, here. At least you could see what it looks like if it were lit with a flameless thing in there. Isn't that lovely? In fact, for you, let me see. All right. That's what it looks like as if it had a tea light in it. So is it beautiful? Yeah. This piece was instead of, I think, 15 or $16, I got it for $3 and change. And as I said, it is a sconce. It is not, and if you can let me leave it like this. Okay. I'm going to just turn the lights back on. Eyes back. Okay. What a big mouth, right? No. So that's what it looks like. But I wanted to show it to you because, you know, it's worth it. If you see it in the store, it's very lovely, as I said. And, and it's a sconce. And they give you the votive cup with the little screws and everything. So it's nice to hang it on the wall, sit it on the table. It doesn't matter. It's pretty. Anyway, what did I have to talk about? And I have... I'm gonna talk as quickly as I can, and I normally do. If anyone has a chance to go to the Yankee Candle store, they put out all the fall stuff. This fall stuff, the accessories are absolutely beautiful. I can't even, I, 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 they left me speechless, and that's very hard to do. They have beautiful stuff for the fall, tea light holders and, lamps that you put tea lights in and and sensational wax melters new ones and wax melters regular ones and it is beautiful so if you have a chance to do to go in there go they have a wax melter that looks like a blue barn door with a little star and i think it's 29 dollars. beautiful beautiful stuff 
So have the opportunity. The picture doesn't, what we see on the website is nice, but if you have the chance to see it in person at your store, take a chance, look at the stuff. Um, so that's one thing. And finally, our Halloween thing. It's not going to be the beginning of August. I found out it's going to be towards the end of August, I think the 28th, just an FYI. So that's it. That's my last haul. Wanted to talk about that and tell you about the Halloween stuff and stop at the store. You're going to be so happy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and take care. Bye-bye.